Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are starting our spaniel's nose. We're going to get the nose in and hopefully some of the fur to connect um, her nose to her face. Um, and then um, the part after the nose will be back to the ear. So as, as before I'm kind of swapping between the two areas. Uh, we're doing this nose. It's a liver nose so different colour nose to the noses we've done before. Um, so yeah I hope this is helpful for you if you've ever get any liver noses in the future so i'm going to zoom you in and we'll get started so on black pigmented noses we'd usually start off with a dark sepia for a liver pigmented nose i'm actually going to start off with my caput mortem and i'm going to just follow the outline of this bottom nostril first all along where this nostril is and all I'm doing is I'm just very lightly mapping out the shape of this nostril I'm not pressing hard we're just getting the general shape of that nostril mapped in and I'm going to do it on this side as well just mapped in and at the center part of the nose as well So we've got a general shape being mapped in. I'm also going to bring this caput mortem along the bottom here. Now this bottom part does get um, blended in with the fur. So we will be blending quite a lot of this in with the fur. That's fine. But we're just mapping in this nose. Then coming in with the beige red, and this is the lightest colour that I can see. So I'm going to apply this as the base layer along the bottom of this nose. And I'm going to cover the nose with this base layer. So it's got a nice pinkish base layer. And then if we need to lighten any areas later, we can smooth it out with the ivory. But I'm just, and I'm using slowly, I'm doing this slowly, and I'm using circular, circular pencil strokes. And I'm going to, as we come down the nose, I'm going to use longer pencil strokes, but still following the shape of this nose. So I'm always making sure that my pencil strokes, even with the nose, and I'm following the shape of this nose because we want this nose to look 3D. I haven't drawn in the middle of this nose yet. We are going to get there. But you can just see, even just by following, we're just starting to map in the shape. And I'm just going to bring this base layer into this nose. So we've got some of the darks mapped out and we now have the nostrils. Uh, we have the nostrils mapped out, sorry, and we have our base layer applied across the whole of the nose. I'm now going to take the dark red and I'm going to use this on the inner of this nostril where it's going to blend outwards. And I'm just, again, short pencil strokes following the shape of this nostril. It's going to get really dark in this nostril, which is the area we're going to start with first, getting this nostril, the darkness of the inner nostril mapped in. And that will help us judge the rest of this nose. So I started off with the dark red. I'm then going to take my caput mortem and I'm going to go over the dark red. And fall in the shape of that nose all the time. And then going to take the um I want my black. We need oh actually I'm gonna take the red violet first. I'm just going to see, maybe it'll be dark enough with the red violet, but I think we will need black anyway, because um, this is the inner nostril. So this is red violet at the moment. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to get my black. And I'm going to use this black right in this corner of her nose. And I'm blending that black outwards. Following the shape of this nose, and there's a little mark there. And then I'm going to come back in with a kaput mortem over that black here. That's going to blend outwards. And then I'm going to take the Venetian red just along here. And I'm just going to bring this black under this nostril here as well. Not a lot of it. We don't want it to be too dark. Uh, and when I say too dark, I mean we don't want a black nose. Um, we don't want a lot of this black. Um, and then I'm just going to run the Kaput Morton Violet along this edge. Yeah. Okay, so we're starting to get that shape of that nose now. Um, I'm taking the dark red and I just want the dark red on this nostril and then I'll use the Kaput Morton Violet along here so you can see now we've even just by adding in these dark nostrils we're starting to get that 3D look to the nose so I'm now going to start building up the bottom half of this nose. So I'm going to take the burnt sienna first and I'm curving it round from this nose nostril. And this is going to come down here. And as it comes down that nose, I'm taking my Indian red. And again, all I'm doing is just mapping in the shapes. It's all about these shapes again. I bang on about shapes all the time because that's what we're mapping in. <laughs> um, taking the Kaput Morton Violet, we just need to darken this centre line. And then the Burnt Sienna along the bottom half of this nose here. And I'm just going to blend it into that um, Indian red again. And then I'm going to take my cinnamon. Remembering that we've got a highlight in this now. So I am ignoring, I say ignoring, we're using the beige red, our base layer for that highlight. And I'm going over the other colours with the cinnamon. So we're getting that pinkish colour to the nose now. Um, back to the Kaput Martin Violet and I just want to back and forth to blend all these colours. And I'm adding in some of the detail lines with the Kaput Martin Violet. So we've got a little line there on the edge of this nose that's darker. Obviously, this is going to blend into the fur. And then I'm just going to take my beige red and we'll put this highlight. Back to the um, dark red. And I'm just going to sort of almost run that dark red along the bottom of this nostril here. So I've really mapped out the shape of this nostril now. Uh, take my Kaput Martin Violet as we've got a line coming here. Again, this is all just showing the shapes. Just building up the shapes. That's coming down there. Take my Indian Red in this corner. So I do like to spend quite a bit of time on dogs' noses because I feel like the dogs' dogs' noses are almost like our fingerprints. They're all so different. So eyes and noses I spend quite a bit of time on within my commissions. Um, and then back to the cinnamon over the top. 
and then the Venetian red just to blend in here. Okay, and then coming back with the burnt sienna, and I'm just gonna come along here and then bring the put Martin violet. So can you see that the colours in this nose are very, very similar to the colours that we've been using in the fur. And this is the one thing about liver noses, I find. They're very, very similar. Usually, obviously you will get your odd exception, but they're very, very similar to the um, their fur. This is the Indian Red. And then I'm going to go over all of that with the beige red again. And that's given that nice highlight there as well. And then I'm just going to take my Kaput Mortem and just in this dark section of the nose, just sort of, I'm doing curved lines. So if I just grab this piece of paper, I'm doing curved lines like this out of the nose. To give that rounded effect that this is going into that nostril and curving around the edge here like so okay now onto the other half of her nose um, i'm sticking with this cup mortem and um, again shape of that nose curved lines along here for now And then I'm going to take the Indian Red along the top here and I'm going to bring it along here and I'm kind of doing, so for that part of the nose I'm kind of doing lines like this, so almost scribbling jaggedy lines for the top of this nose and that's just going to create a little bit of texture on this nose and up here as well and then I'm going to take the cinnamon all the way around this nose at the bottom and along here okay so we can see just how dark we need to take that nose um, when you compare it to the other side, I also need to blend a bit more on that nose on this side. So let me just do that now. I'll take the Indian Red. This isn't quite as blended as I'd like it. Just going to smooth out here a bit more. Yours might be smooth enough and you might be happy with your nose. If you're happy, don't worry about this section um, and the burnt sienna. Just wasn't happy with how harsh that bit was looking then. Um, sticking with the burnt sienna very lightly and just building up here. And then I'm going to take the bista. And this is where we had the Indian red. I'm going to bring in that brownish yellowish tone to the nose here. I could put Martin Violet, we just need to darken. So it's for me, noses is a constant back and forth between darkening areas. Um, so I just need to darken here. And I'm going to darken this little section here as well. And then take my Kaput Martin. And then go over the top of all that again with the cinnamon. Starting to really get a nice nose now. Take the Kaput Martin Violet again, just coming down the centre of her nose. And along here, just going to darken that a little bit. And take the bista over the top of that again. 
And then I, using the beige red just helps smooth all this out and blend the bottom of this nose. Okay, right, we're onto the top half of this nose now. So I am going to take my um, cinnamon first. Now with the cinnamon, I am going to build up some of the colours that I can see. But also we're going to start building up some of the texture. So again, this doesn't have to be accurate. The texture of this nose does not have to be on the same same marks um so we're going to bring some straighter lines out of this nostril so just going to bring this cinnamon up and round creating that shape to her nostril and some little texture marks over the top and then i'm just going to use circular motions where it's darker with this cinnamon so a long top of this nose into this corner and along here light pressure I'm not pressing too hard I'm just gonna go over that area there and along here as well and then we've got that highlighted area in the middle there okay um, and then I'm gonna take the Venetian red now you want a really sharp point on your Venetian red and with the Venetian red, I'm going to come in and I'm going to use the Venetian red to create some of this detail. So, really sharp pencil. And I'm just going to map in some of these look like little round shapes, the texture on the nose. Don't make them all even. You want it all to be different shapes going in different direct. I say different directions, like they're not in a unified line. So you don't want everything to be like one straight line of circles and you don't want them to be perfect circles you want random little shapes and we're just sort of creating that texture of that nose along here with the venetian red and i'm going to do the same here again we don't have to go overboard with this we just want to create that that look that there is going to be texture on this nose like so and then going to go over the top of all of that circular motions with the beige red and that's just going to help smooth that out a little bit and then i'm going to go in with the cinnamon again And then what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat that process and go make those shapes again with the Venetian red. But I'm not worried if it's in the same place or not. Nice sharp pencil. And I'm just going to create a little bit more texture. Pressing a bit harder now with this. And it's just going to create that texture on this nose. Oops, that was a bit too hard a pressure, never mind. Bring this round here. And along here. So they're not all the same shape, they're not all the same size. Just random little marks to create some kind of texture to this nose. And then, once again, very lightly over the top with this beige red. Now, in this corner, it's more of a, like a greyish colour, so I'm going to very lightly take the cinnamon along the edge. It needs to be a bit more pinkish here. I'm just going to take that Venetian red here as well. And then a light layer of the cinnamon. Then take the warm grey two and go along the this light pinkish tone and that's just going to give us that grey grey look take the kaput mortem and I'm going to start blending these together so coming out of that nostril not not a lot just a little bit of this kaput mortem it's going to help blend 
that into it and then along that line got that put mortar just to help darken and then take the cinnamon and just go over the top here and then Venetian red once again just little marks I need to make there so you see we're starting to really get this really nice looking nose now um, I'm going to very lightly take the Venetian red along here and then I'm going to take the gold and I'm using the gold to map in some shapes and then go over the top of this Venetian red here um, I'm going to take my ivory I just want to blend Yeah, this is like this really nice highlight on this nose. So I'm going to use the ivory there. Oops. And then again, take this Venetian red and just add some little marks to show that there's texture on this nose. And then take the gold circular motions along this side of the nose. Venetian red. And then the spade red. Um, I'm just going to add a bit more Venetian here. Um, so a bit of a Venetian ed red edge here and then over the top of that with the gold. So this is where we're going to start sort of blending into the fur around this nose. Uh, take the kaput mortem, just bring these little lines in again, and then the cinnamon. And we have a little liver nose. So we need to add the fur in, um, and the fur will help ground this nose into place. So I'm just going to erase some of this graphite and then I'm going to come in with the ivory as our base layer along the top of her nose here quite hard pressure, we're going to really smooth out the two for this paper Okay, so taking my Indian red first, I'm going to make sure that all of this is going to blend nicely together. And with the Indian red, I'm just going to bring in this darker highlight across the top of the nose. Now, again, we're focusing on the shape, but the fur direction. So this bit of fur is going sort of upwards from her nose. And we have a bit of like lighter skin there, so I've got like a little triangle here. So in that little triangle, I'm going to add in the cinnamon, and then take the gold. I'm just going to map that in, and then come back over with a burnt sienna. Um, that wasn't burnt sienna. This is burnt sienna over the top of this Indian red very light uh, very small pencil strokes the fur on the nose is very short here so we don't want to create the look of really long fur when she doesn't have any um, and I'm going to take the ivory in that little triangle here as well I'm just going to really blend that bit into that nose and then taking the cinnamon and where it's that lighter highlight just going to use the cinnamon along the top here and I'm going to bring the cinnamon across the bridge of her nose here as well
So, just taking this burnt sienna and again following this fur direction. So on the bridge of this nose, the fur is going to change direction quite a little bit. And I'm just going to blend this outwards. It's just not as blended out. It's a bit of a harsh stop there, so I'm just going to bring that burnt sienna. There, that looks better. Right. Might not look like I add much, but uh, those little bits that I do just help. So a little bit of the burnt sienna, and then I'm taking the Indian red again. Um, following that fur direction once again. I'm then going to grab the Bista. So this bit of fur is quite lighter brown and just using this bista over the top and then back to the indian red little bits of fur detailing okay then i'm going to bring the cinnamon back in and i'm just going to bring the cinnamon along the top of this nose Now we've got the cinnamon used as the highlight for the top of this nose, so we will be working on top of all of this. But it's just almost like another base layer to work on top of. If in doubt, add another base layer. <laughs> Um, I'm then going to take the Venetian red, bring it out of that bit of the nose, and again following that fur direction. Light pressure, just slowly building up. And then I'm just going to take the gold, and the gold is going to act as some fur detail. So really making sure that this this part of the fur is really going in that correct direction. Blending it down into that part. And then I'm going to go over the top of that again with the dark uh, with the cinnamon. I don't know why I was going to say dark sepia. And then along the top of the nose, we're just going to use the beige red. Just to smooth all that out. Uh, back to the burnt sienna. Just going to blend this bit of dark fur outwards with some fur strokes. that in there okay back to the ivory as a base layer around this nose so let's get this fur in around the nose so i'm going to add ivory all the way around this nose because i want this nose to be in place now and that's sort of like the bottom muzzle lip here okay so at the bottom of her nose, we're going to come back in with the Indian red. Follow that fur direction. And remember your pencil strokes reflect the length of the fur. Go right up to your nose. We don't want a little glow around that nose. Um, and then over the top of that Indian red, I'm going to take the beaster here. Indian red, and then I'm going to get the kaput mortar as we come round this nose here with the kaput mortar. Again, light pressure, I'm not pressing hard at all. 
Right, so we now have a little bit of skin to draw in. Um, so first of all, I'm going to take the copper and I'm going to use circular motions to map in this bit of the nose that we've not got mapped in yet. And then over the top of that copper, I'm going to take the cinnamon. And the cup mortem. I'm going to darken that line here. And then just bring that colour over here. Like so. And then I've got my dark red and I'm just going to add in some of those little bits, little bits of hair that we can see. Again, doesn't need to be accurate. Just showing that there's a bit of fur there over that skin. Then I'm going to take the kaput mortem again, very lightly, along the bottom of this nose and again following that fur direction. Always making sure that that fur direction is being followed. It actually curls that way. So it kind of comes down and round. So on the, on the nose, the fur changes direction so much. It's really important that you always look at your reference photo for guidance on the way that it's... Um, on the direction that it's going and then over the top of that I'm taking the burnt sienna okay and then grabbing the burnt sienna and I'm just going to start with this bit here now, bringing the burnt sienna in. Down here a little bit. I'm going to go over the top of that with the India Red. And then over that on the edges here with the bista. Bit of a hard pressure there. And then back to the burnt sienna. I've got this colour nicely. And then I'm going to grab my dark sepia, where it's darker here, oh that might be a bit too dark, um, my walnut brown, let's grab walnut brown first. Just along the edge of this nose and then the darker fur that's coming out. And then use the India Red. Again over the top. And then the cinnamon just to tie all the fur together nicely. And then we do have some like little stray hairs so I'm just going to use the cinnamon. Create that little rough edge. Not too much, just a little bit along here, a little bit of hair along there as well. So just little bits, little tufts, um, but it just adds to that. Um, she does have some whiskers, but I'm going to add them at the very end um, when I've got more of her muzzle in. 
So I'm grabbing my Caput Mortem again along here. I've got this part of her face to darken up now. So a bit more medium pressure here now. Just to start really darkening up the colour there. Um, what I think I'm going to do before I get really dark with this, I really want to connect this part of the face because um, it just looks a bit disjointed. So, um, take my ivory. I don't know why it was bothering me, but I think because we've got this top part connected, in my head I'm like, this part needs to connect it. So I'm just going to do that. Um, I'm going to take the brown ochre along this little bit here. A little bit darker there. And the India red. Go over to that brown ochre. And then the brown ochre. Um, and then the cinnamon. Um, over the top of that brown ochre, I'm going to take the light red violet. I'm just going to bring this purplish tone in. And bring it down here a bit more as well. Take the Venetian red. It's nice now. Now she's getting her nose in. You can really start to see her personality come in. Shape of her head. Such a pretty puppy. This is the Venetian red going over the top of all this. Um, I'm just going to grab that brown ochre again along here, the India red, bit of a hard depression now as I start to darken along here. The walnut brown, because we know that this part of her muzzle is going to be quite dark so using the walnut brown to do that, sort of blending it outwards. Uh, the burnt sienna. And then I'm going to go over all of that with the cinnamon again. Followed up by the gold, and the gold I'm using as fur detail, a little bit more of fur direction going on. <sighs> okay, right, I'm a lot happier now that I've got that bit in. <laughs> right, back to the walnut brown here. Burnt sienna, oops. And then down into this caput mortem. And again, this bit's going to be really dark, so hard depression now with this caput mortem. Right up to that nose. And then I'm going to go over that with the walnut brown. Especially down here. And down from this nose. Um, to the Venetian red. Um, 
That's like Port Martin. Over there. So um, this is the part where um, I get my slice tool. So you can use your tape again. Um, and I'm just going to bring some of that fur over there and then grab the walnut brown and just sort of draw in between those hairs. Okay. And then back to the ivory. And I'm just going to do like another row as we bring this um, down into her face. So again, put Morton. Following, following that fur direction. So that needs to be going that way instead. A bit of fur is kind of going that way. And then this bit's going that way. Over the top of all of that with the burnt sienna. Can you see how we using those colours that we used in the nose? How similar it is to the fur. But the nose still stands out in its own right. I do love drawing dogs' noses. <laughs> um, and then I want my put mortem again. Over the top of that burnt sienna. So doing the put mortem over the top of the burnt sienna is giving us this nice rich deep colour for this part of her muzzle, which is quite dark. Again, making sure that that fur is going in the right direction. Um, I'm just going to grab the Caput Martin Violet. This might be too purpley, but I'm just going to go over the top here. Especially the top of this part of her nose. So that's dark as further down. And then I'm taking the Walnut Brown and coming along here now with the Walnut Brown. And now that we're starting to get all these darker shades into her fur, she's really looking like a really lovely liver puppy. I know it's scary when she's looking pink at first and we've used a lot of the pinkish tones but it really does come together. It's all about just trusting the process and keeping going. Okay, um, I'm taking that Caput, um, Caput Morton Violet and just bring this into that nose again a bit more. And make sure that's curving down from that nose. Okay, uh, back to the ivory here. 
Um, I'm going to bring it along here for now. Just going to keep connecting this fur with the um, the nose to the muzzle, uh, the muzzle to the nose. <laughs> this is the gold, and I'm just going to bring this gold in now for this fur direction along here. And then over the top of that gold, the Venetian red. And bringing that Venetian red all the way down. Um, I could put Martum, and I'm just going to start. Darkening up areas that need to be darker. So along here. Okay. Then back in with a light red violet. Again, purple tones within liver fur work really, really well. Okay, then bringing in the copper. Again, I'm just building up the layers of this fur. That's all I'm doing is just layers and layers and layers. Okay, I want my burnt umber. And I'm just going to bring the burnt umber out over the top of all this. Over the top of that copper and the purple. And then the kaput mortar over the top of all that. And you're just going to keep following the fur direction. Make sure you're always following the direction of the fur. Bringing it down as it comes down her face. Um, and then the burnt sienna, as I bring it down the side of her face here. And then go over the top of all of that with the cinnamon. And the Venetian red here, just to keep it blending into this fur. And then back to the kaput mortem over the top of all of this and the violet kaput mortem violet is just going to help blend along here as well take the gold just a little bit more fur detailing along so and then the walnut brown is just going to add that depth to the fur along here. And then we're going to build up the colour. Okay. And I'm just going to bring that walnut brown down here as well. Really starting to get a nice little nose coming along. And the burnt sienna. For that orangey tinge, reddish orangey tinge. Over the top again. Okay. Oh, she's looking quite cute, isn't she now? Back with Ivory is the base layer. Along 
here. Okay. And then taking the nugget, I'm going to bring the nugget down this side. Again, following that fur direction. Always making sure we're following the fur direction. And then take the burnt sienna and go over the top of that nugget. And then the kaput mortar. As we bring this back down. And then go over the top of all of that with the cinnamon. Like so. Um, and then, oh, the burnt sienna. Um, along here. Of the copper from those bit of furs coming sort of downwards here. So I'm just going to grab the copper, go over the top of here with the brown ochre, and then back to the burnt sienna. And then over the top of that with a nugget. Um, and then Venetian red. Now I'm going to add a lot more fur detail into this um, in the next part, but um, as usual I kind of want more of the face in before we really um, add and remove bits of fur um, on this girl's face. Um, the Kaput Martin. Um, and I'm just going to do a couple of layers of this Kaput Morton. Over the top with a burnt sienna. Venetian red in here. Take the walnut brown. And then the Put Martin Violet. And then the cinnamon over the top of all of that. And what we'll do is we will finish this part of the muzzle once we've got the rest of the bottom half in. Really darken it up and add all those details um, when we next come to the muzzle. I'm just going to take the ivory here a bit. A bit of a highlight there. Um, but there we have her... Oops. 
Let me move her back. We have her nose and muzzle in. So let me zoom you out. So I hope you enjoyed following this part of the tutorial. Um, we could have got a bit more of her mouth in, but I didn't want to leave it at such a random spot. Um, because I like these tutorials to be about an hour long. Um, and we definitely wouldn't have got all of this done. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave her here for now. Um, and the next part will be back onto the ear. Um, and we're slowly getting there. Not, not far off, to be fair. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Any comments, let me know below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.